The 2009 Billfish Tournament is less than a week away. Coordinators say, from all indications, they will have another successful event. However, those spearheading the tournament are not just focusing on the anticipated huge catch of the various days. As we hear in this Trisha Rubin dispatch, they are also looking towards the level of business which would be generated. It is fun and frolic, but believe it or not, these men spent thousands of dollars during the four-day annual billfish tournament. The event is into its 48th year and attracts local, regional, as well as international competitors. Chairman of the Spice Island Billfish Tournament Committee is Richard McIntyre. He says anglers spend a significant amount of money during their stay in Grenada. Um, once the angler pays the registration fee, of 150 US. Everything else is free to him. All of the the t-shirts, the all except in the fuel perhaps, but the dockage, the water, the electricity and all the things at the docks that we provide. Um, <clears throat> of course we buy the prizes and we've been very fortunate to have had government's assistance with respect to the duty-free concessions on the prizes that we get in. We get a lot of prizes for all the various um, categories. And, um, you know, so in, invariably, if you, if you just simply take account of perhaps over 200 anglers at 150 US, it does represent a fair amount. And then one has to look at the visitors who come with them. They generally bring their wives and they stay at hotels and they rent cars and they go around the island. It's something we've said over the years, but I have no doubt that, um, that there have been many benefits to the whole sports tourism calendar and indeed Grenada from people who have come over the years because I know of quite a number of people who have been fortunate to, to buy lots here in Grenada. They love Grenada. They have come here. They have built homes. And um, we'll never be able to really tabulate how much, but it's a substantial amount. I'd like to tell you it's half a million dollars, but I believe that... Um, you know, it all adds up in the end. Mr. McIntyre speaks about the importance of the Billfish Tournament as a tourist attraction. Well, we're hoping that, that by the nature of what you see here next, next Monday, you know, and the activity that will take place at the Yacht Club, members of the public will see the value to Grenada, just like I, I would venture to say the impressive sight of all those mega yachts over on the other side by Camp Nicholson, which looks very good. I, I have no doubt that there are, you know, large fees that are being paid for the storage of these boats there. And equally, you know, when we have certainly over 30, 35, probably 40 boats along the Grenada Yacht Club, you know, it, it represents a major event for us in sports tourism. We have people flying in specifically for this tournament. And um, we see it as uh, making use of Grenada's uh, natural asset because it's something that is harnessed by us. We, we believe that um, if we can utilize the sports fishing uh, um, facilities that are available and indeed what's outside there in our waters, you know, we can promote it worldwide. And we have had, already we have people writing us to ask us for day-by-day -day, um, event, uh, you know, information so they can put it on the website because we know that most of what's going on here has been sent certainly throughout the entire Caribbean. The annual Billfish Tournament runs from January 20th to the 23rd.